Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and the game is From the Depths. And uh, we're just going to go back into the campaign after I've made a few changes. So, um, see you in the campaign map. Now, where we left the game last time, I have made a couple of changes. We had uh, destroyed the force inside the uh, sector next to us, but uh, not taken the resource point. Um, I've made a few changes. Um, I have created a second recon balloon, and I'm also um, in the single player designed them with some new longer reach sensors. So we'll try them. Um, there's also a change to the turtle, and we have a new ship, the Subseal Hunter. Or seal hunter. I think I'll change that. Um, uh, I'm just going to call it the seal, actually. Let's just go to here. Rename that to seal sub seal sub one. I think seal sub one. I'll just bring it in so you can have a look at it. I think so. A little. Submarine, as you can see, and it will mainly missile firing, but it does submerge on its own and will quite happily go to down in depth, making its way down. As you can see, it's uh, not a perfect design, it's got quite a few little flaws in it. I don't have to work those out over time. More designed as an attack sub than anything else. But while we're in the map, let's take the battle plate. It's joining our two slow boaters. But let's, first of all, let's go and have a look at the recon balloons. Uh, they're starting in the ground as always, which is always a problem. So let's, just before I start making any changes, let's get them up nice and all and we'll see what their radar range is before we make any changes. So it's very annoying. I might might make these ground stations if I can't find a way of these automatically retaining their their height. I've tried altitude lock and various other bits, but when they're in play, they automatically climb and it's fine they will hold their position so okay we have a fairly good radar range about to block in a, a bit to say right so we're now gonna go to this one and bring it into play and and the forces I'm gonna refit right, retrofit my recon balloon mark two we fit to recon balloon mark two see it's a uh, it's actually better in some areas um than the previous one but a uh, lot more crystal and on this one but let's see how it does where's it gone to whoops here we are oh during the refit it's uh having a bit of a issue Sort of to be expected whilst it just reworks so what are the changes all right it's working at it let's see basically what i got was that it's more efficient to have multiple antennae rather than lots of dishes so i increased the size of the dish a little bit anyway but now we got multiple antennae antenna 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 english terrible antenna the number of dishes and they share the dishes so once this is close to being done and it's out it's got a nice 500 altitude which is very nice I should keep it out of trouble Uh, 
Are we nearly there? Nearly there, nearly there. 199 blocks, so it's good. Almost done. Right, well, we'll whilst it's doing that, we'll have a look at the other one. And whoa, yes, you this, that's a definitely a bigger map than there now. So we'll do the same to the second one, I think. Warp to it. Oops. Um, and bring it in play. Retrofit. Whoops, where are we? Ah, uh, come here. I'm going to be doing that. Right. Retrofit. Green mark two. So this will extend our view range quite considerably once it's finished. So we'll just let that complete. And then have a look at what, how far we can now look with two of them. We'll, we'll split them up eventually. We've got two for the moment. But we'll split them up. So these are very simple. We'll leave that one working on it while we're... Let's go elsewhere. Right, so, other bits. Our turtles. Let's go and have a look at our turtles. Now, I uh, increased their speed a little bit. Um, so they also need a little bit of a retrofit. Um, there we go. Right, so we're going to retrofit them with our PT Turtle version 7. And also I increased the... Uh, it's only a minor change actually, and changed some bits, some pieces on it. So it automatically goes a little, starts its engines up. I better put myself in the chair, I think. Get the chair. Okay. I'll get the other one working while we're working at it as well. PT Turtle 2, turn retro, whoops, retrofit as well. So now, just a little change. Instead of letting the naval AI sort out the speed, I use the control block to force it to go a particular speed. Basically, full speed. And once it's done, how long we go? Oh, that looks like it is uh, done on both of those. Yes, yes, okay. Well, pull them out of play again. So they're a little faster. And their out of play speed is now 11.6, so they're no longer the slow boat. So maybe we should rename the slow boaters to something else now. So what should we call them? How about the surface dwellers? Hmm. Surf surface. Surface dwellers. That's as good a name as any. And let's see as the recon balloon now also, yes, that seems to have gone. So let's have a look at our map. What nice big area we have. Yes. Very good. Let's make sure it's speed 528. Ooh, very good. Oops. Get that. that height up. Come on. Come on. Oh. Let's try to go back in. Little buggy there. Oh dear, I can't select the height. Um, that's that one. Go to this one now. Ugh. Okay, go to that one. Horse. Go here. Map. There we go, right. So, let's have a look what's on the map now. So, we've got a 47324. Hmm. Well, still deep water guard, so we're going to go for the deep water guard. So, but now, let's see how our PT boats and sub 
we do against here now our sub has only got 7.4 out of order so i'm going to send the sub in first i'll send the sub in and we will send the pt boats in as well as a backup force but we'll let the sun we'll see what the sub does first so the pt boats will stay out of range in general Where do I want to be? I think I'll be in the sub now. Let's take myself to the sub. Oh, that didn't change. Change names. Rename. Oh, and let's see. Acronauts. Fleet One. I'll we'll call them the Acronauts. There we go. Fleet's now the Acronauts. Of course I got it wrong! Aquanauts! Fleet 1! So that's the fleet name assigned, and now we go and do a SEAL Sub 1. Oh. SEAL Sub 1. There we go, that's better. So, let's have a look. Speed up time a little. go well our little man our little hover hover man is there yes so our little boats will just hold at this position ready to to cruise in well our sub will be the main attacking force i think on this we'll aim at that well, let's go get, get into battle I do want to make one little change, I think, to the uh, to the fortress once we've done this, which we can do whilst... Oh, there we go. Ready to engage. So, no other forces have come into play. So, good, 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 good. Right. Where are we? Here we are. Right. So, horses. Seal sub. Do your thing. go so it should be a missile fiber and some torps get to see what he's going to do here he'll fire something he'll sit there all day no I don't know what you're doing here then you're deciding not to attack that is there a reason uh, distance 780. Maybe is it your range? Is it not in range of your missiles? Maybe? Let's have a look at your missiles. I can't remember now. Oh, 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 oh we got oh, some torps fired. We got torps firing. That's good. What range are these missiles? It's got some missile battery here. And they're set for 500. Ah. Fairly close range. Uh, we've got torpedoes heading out. Let's go interface off. Oops, let's also make sure I'm not controlling. Yes, idiot. I was controlling the guns. Bloody idiot. Okay, now we've got some missiles coming in. That's a little better. Let's see how what it does to this. Very nice. In actual fact, what I might try to do is take out, I need to take out the fire control computer. I think it's some of those I'm too close to them. But let's see. I might take out the fire control computer. That seems to be having fun. I'll tell you what, let's put the patrol boats in there as well, just so they can have some fun also. See if they're allowed in to join in the fun. They'll get there in time, but we'll see. Oh, and 
nice missiles coming in. So it's got vertical launch missiles that pop out and then yaki da. Yay! Yes. Okay. That's given us some nice resources as well. Uh, no damage whatsoever. Okay, so now let's take those out of play. So what are we going to do about mining the resources here? So let's have a quick check of the map. Now go down to slow play while we look at this. So we need a, somewhere mining the resources or moving the base Moving Atlantis from here to this point to be its new heart. Oh, you have a force coming in though. Maybe I won't move anything in just yet. Then. Speed 8.4. Oh, we're gonna need to uh, find a way to uh, meet that force. Okay, right, well. Two choices or a couple of choices. I'm gonna say two choices, we've got a few choices. Um, I can build a new resource platform here so it's we have a permanent resource platform, which I think might be a good idea. And there's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, we can use one of these existing ships um, to, to uh, put a spawner unit on it and let it just build a nice little platform here. We could move up our fortress, uh, get the fortress to build something here, then move our fortress up. So move, let our, our fortress, fortress move with us. I like that idea in some ways. So Atlantis is actually a mobile, large mobile city. But I think it's a little close at the moment and not powerful enough really to uh, provide any suitable Combatability. So I think we'll go with the loading. So let's bring our turtles. We're gonna send the sub up to here. So uh, and the turtles over to this resource zone. So the sub's gonna. What size force is this? It's, ooh, a free strength thirty. Mm. So this will be a big test for our submarine. Can it take out this strength thirty team? What is it? It's the 4th Army. Let's have a look. Oops. Right. Slow this down. Right, so let's have a look at our turtles. And welcome back. Um, typically the video just had a little bit of a hiccup and I missed missed a few little changes but I've started building on well, my decision was to build a little resource base at this new site um, and my one of my turtles has just happily started building this resource uh, my little chap is sitting on it as well to help build it it's already started to pull in some of the resources, which is uh, very handy. Um, and once it's built, it should actually sink to the floor, which will be interesting. Now, developments. Our subs are just about coming in. Now, I'm not happy on this floor, so I'm sending my two turtles up here as well. I've got a feeling this could be a tough one. So, this force 30, I'm hoping my sub will be enough to hold them. And my little guy is going to start continuing. Oh, let's see, it's getting there, it's getting there. Yeah, yeah. It's not totally bad. It's an interesting little platform. It's mainly heavy. Once it's finished building, it will mainly just sink down and disappear into the uh, into the floor, which is its uh, main purpose. 
And I don't want to uh, start the attack until I've been able to finish this building. So, what have we got coming in? That could be what we can look at now. Yes, okay, it's ready to battle. So, what have we got? Right, a Kalmar again. And a Vanguard and a Shurukin. Oh, not sure I have not met a Shurukin. I can't remember what the Shurukin is. It's a big old s triangle it's got there. Hmm. But a small ship. Right, looks a bit. Vanguard, not to worry. Kalmar, we had the, the two patrol boats previously did take out quite happily. So, I'm sure Seal Sub should be able to deal with this. But, I still want to wait until my... Uh, little place here is secure and we haven't got any resources we're waiting for which is good not sure what else is being built it's still got quite a bit of building to go my my guy has got his tentacles out and he's building it up as quick as he bloody well can so all oh, the air pumps are in this could be interesting. It should now maybe it'll start to sink down to the to the bottom. Now, what we will do is whilst it's building, it may well go a little askew. Although it is does seem to be sinking now quite nicely. It is an interesting development. Oh, subnautical boat got some crystal creators as well as some scrap so these are sorry these are the crystal so I can do 60 crystal and it's got some scrap so the metal is being converted into scrap as well it's got plenty of energy oh I put missiles on it oh that's handy I forgot about them that may be Advantageous as long as they work. A bit of missiles work there. Um, so let's see what happens. I think this is safe enough now. How how far away is it from being built? It's five five nine eight seven three. Well, we've still got quite a way. Let's see. We need it to be in. Of, I think. More sandwich. Salvage. Sandwich? Salvage. Oh. So it has got some defensive capability. It might even uh, be able to have some effect on this battle if they tend to go a little south. It's within... Ooh, it's close to being within range. So... Seal Sub will be the main antagonist. Protag protagonist. Protagonist in this. Yeah, with its, which is ideal for it because of the close range nature of its missiles. 500 meters, it seems. Ooh, shields going up. Right, I think I'm happy. I'm going to leave that to build whilst we whilst we go and look at the uh, oh, the little fleet. So where's our aquanauts? Aquanauts. Are you ready? Okay, come on. Let's at least let's, let's, let's at least face our targets, shall we? Let's face the enemy. That's better. There we go. There we go. Right. Are you ready? Aquanauts. Fight. Mm -hmm. Turbot. Missiles away. I think I'll bring in the turtles as well, just to be on the safe side on this. I'm thinking more the merrier this moment 
have interface dot off. Right. Got some nice incoming missiles already. Ooh. What have we got being flying? Oh, this could be interesting. We have this did must be the Shuriken. Ooh. Ooh, I can see why. That's throwing out lots of little mines. Mm. Well, he seems to be hitting his own ship more than, more than us. And he seems to have left most of the mines in the path of his own ships. And our torpedoes and mines are just obliterating him. It's, um... Having a... Yes, ooh, our sub, look, look at that. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. As our sub is coming through quite nicely, it's getting very close, which is I'm not so sh that sure I'm happy with, but he is a close in fighter. It's an attack sub. Maybe need a bit more speed, potentially. Although those missile those torps are not really going anywhere, though he's doing plenty of damage here. Kalmar and the Vanguard seem to be... Are they trying to mate? Vanguard is... Uh, not enough. Vanguard's out. Kalmar is... Going to be out soon. I think there's... It's, it's weapons are almost out. I, I think the Shuriken damaged it more than anything else. Oh... He's taken fairly much enough damage to uh, put him out of action as well. So, that's all lovely resources. Yes. Although, our metal is very low from that. It seems to be very low metal. Now, I'm thinking that must be from all of the uh, torpedoes and other things that we have fired. Is, although all that metal is now coming in. It could have of course been from the resource as well, but we seem to have dropped out. But anyway, that seems to be a good little battle there. Let's uh let's uh ooh. Sub did get a bit of damage. Hmm. Yeah, where's his damage? Let's go and have a look at him. Let's see where he got damaged. Anything obvious? Um, certainly nothing obviously damaged. Stay still. Right, anything is he still damaged? So, no, no, he's back up. So okay, whatever was damaged, it it's now okay again. Okay. Right, we're no longer in battle. Okay, well seal sub then can come out of play. And the other two. Are they okay? Yep. Took that apart quite nicely. And how is our pontoon? Let's go and have a look at the pontoon, see if the pontoon is finished. Um, did it st uh, where the hell are you going? Are you in the resource zone? Yes, you are. Good, good, good. That's uh, good. Exactly where you're supposed to be. Are you complete now? Yes, right, now what I can most probably do here is just take the pontoon to that so that it just basically stops moving and settles on the floor. Or I'll leave it on combat, I'll leave it on combat so that the idea is if anything gets in close it will face its shield. I think. So that being said, I have no idea. Where do you go on to? Um, is it going 
gathering things from the resources. Oh, we have another fleet coming. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's this? A strength 60. 49.9. Oh, now I reckon this must be some air. At those sort of speeds, this is going to be aircraft. Oh, right. Well, I'm not sure that we're going to get that to this on this episode. I think we'll catch up with that one in a little while after we've had a successful area we now have this resource zone which is cool we have a little underground pontoon that seems to be sucking stuff up quite nicely to make sure that everything is actually working working nicely well, I'm not sure that these are are these actually gathering things from here they don't seem to be Let's have a look at that. So let's have a look to see whether the whole th the idea I have is even valid. Because at the moment, this is not doing what I want, which is very, very annoying. You're not supposed to do what I tell you to. Hmm. I'll have a look at that later. So we have this new fleet in, in place ready to uh, attack us. It's already there, so there's not a lot we can do about it now. Just slow down time a little. And what do we have? We have a Shrike all, and ooh, two Shrikes, three Shrikes. Ooh, Shrikes. So, against basically my seal. Now my two ships basically the turtles have no air-to-air -air defenses so where do they get going to pull them back because there is no point them even trying they don't have any air-to-air -air missiles the sub does have seal sub one does have some air-to-air -air missiles but is it going to be enough we will see next time